Hello friends, welcome to the ASP.NET Core tutorial series. In this tutorial, we will see what is the process of ASP.NET Core application execution and we will see what is web host builder in .NET Core. So in this tutorial, basically we will see like when we create any project in ASP.NET Core, then how this ASP.NET Core application works means the process of the application how it execute we will see in this tutorial so let's go to the application which we created in the previous uh, tutorials and here we can see like we are looking the in, under this program.cs file we are having one main method and like if we have created so many file uh, like project or the like in the previous version of the .NET, then we have seen like a console application has a main method and it is the entry point for that console application like in the uh, like in the previous dotnet framework when we create any console application then the all the console application contain the main method and that is the entry point for all the application but here we are using asp.net core application and in the asp.net core web application is not basically a console application then why we are having this main method so basically like uh, when we execute this ASP.NET Core web application, then first of all, it look for the main method like this because this is the entry point for the ASP.NET Core web application as well. So when we run this application, so it first it look for the main method and this main method configure ASP.NET Core and start it and at the point it become the ASP.NET Core web application. So basically like when we run this application, then it look for the uh, like main method and this main method basically this create host builder. This is the important and the main function, basically a static function. This what it do, it create this console application into the web application. So if we uh, take a look into this main method, it call create web host builder method and is part uh, passing it in the command line argument so basically like this main method is um, calling this create host builder and it is passing the argument and as we can see like this create web host builder method return a object that implement the i web host builder basically so like uh, what i'm trying to say like this method is basically is return this iWave host builder. So when you will go to the definition of this one and here we can see like it is returning the iHost builder. And the next thing like uh, here we are using this uh, use startup and this is the web builder. And when we go to this uh, this configuration web host builder default and here it is returning the iHost builder. Uh, so uh, on this uh, object basically on this object of this build method is called which build a web host and that host our web is, um, like this asp.net core web application and on this web host run method like basically this run method is called which run the web application and it begin listening for incoming http request so Th that is the thing like uh, wh when we run this asp.net core application first it look for the main method and this main method is basically uh, look for the create host builder which return the iWave host builder interface and here this object basically it look for this build method and what this build method do it convert this console application to the web application and this run method run this web application and this create web host builder method called create create default builder here and, and like this create uh, default builder is basically a static method for the web host class and this create default builder method create a web host with pre configured defaults and this create default builder method it does several things to create a web host and we will discuss all these things like create um, default builder in the coming uh, tutorials in the briefly like how it uh, works basically 
and for now just understand that the create you know, this default builder method set up a web host with uh, certain defaults and as part of uh, like basically setting up a web host a startup class is also configured using the use start use startup extension so we can see this use startup extension so this is basically extension method and it is calling this startup class and when i go under this startup class is basically so like what it do uh, this startup class and we can go this startup class from here as well and this startup class is basically a main class for this one so this startup class um, does the following two very important things one is the configuration service and the, as the name indicate this method configure services required by the application and next is the configure so this configure me method set up the application request uh, processing pipeline and it is very important we understand what these two method does so in the coming tutorial we will understand briefly about this configuration service and this configuration and under this configuration basically we can see like it is doing so many things and from here like it is calling a asynchronous method and from here it is uh, like uh, um, like it is showing the data on the web browser like hello world and like here if i will write hello world dot net office and if i will write like this dot net office and i run this one so what it will show on the browser it will show on the browser like hello world like this hello world dot net office on the browser so this is the process and the execution of the process for esp dot net core application and here like uh, basically the main uh, process of this one is like when we run this application now like let's uh, uh, put the uh, debug point here and what i will do i will rerun this application here and we will see like how it is executing so i will put a breakpoint here as well so let's run this application so once i will run this application first of all it will come to this main method so it came to this main method first then if i will run it will call to this method and from here it will call the startup file and this is the startup class and from this startup class it come to this configure method and from this configure method is basically uh, like uh, uh, print this hello world dot net office so if i will run from here and if i will go on the browser what it will do it will uh, print this hello world dot net office so let's go to the browser and see like what it is printing at point of this time so we can see on the browser like it is showing hello world dot net office so this is the way and this is the process um execution process for esp dot net core application in the coming tutorial we will see like what is the uh, basically like this web host builder and we will understand in briefly about that startup dot cs uh, class like how it works internally so that's it for this tutorial if you have any question and doubt please comment thank you